Every little kid beams with excitement when they lose that first tooth. It's the first step from child to young adult, and you get money to buy whatever you want. I heard stories at school about some kids getting a toothbrush and some sugarless gum. I believed in my heart that my tooth fairy wouldn't stick it to me like that, especially since I had met my tooth fairy long before I lost my first tooth. Yeah, that's right, the tooth fairy would come visit me in my bedroom. Some kids describe the fairy like Tinkerbell. I figured since there were so many kids in the world, maybe there was more than one tooth fairy because mine looked nothing like what the other kids described. Mine was about three feet tall, skinny, very skinny, like you could see all his bones. His eyes were sunk into his face with thick, dark circles around each eye socket. His head was bald with sporadic patches of hair clinging to his scalp. He moved in a disfigured way, like one leg was shorter than the other. His teeth were quite disgusting. Most of them were gray and rotted. His breath smelled like a dead animal. A cat, to be more specific, that I found dead roadside while riding my bike. I figured he took my tooth and would give it to a kid who could not grow teeth, even though he probably should have kept it for himself. I first began to see the fairy in the form of a shadow. I awoke to my mom and dad in the hallway. Mom was putting towels in the hall closet. From my bedroom, I could only see their shadowy silhouette on the wall. I'm an only child, so I knew mom and dad were alone in the hallway. I watched a shadowy shape slowly detach itself from my mother's shadow. It began moving toward my room. With every step, it shrunk in size. By the time it got to my door, it was about three feet tall and walked like a monkey would. I shook with fear unable to understand how this could be. That's when the shadow's head turned as if it was looking at me. Terrified, I just stared. Then it raised an arm and began to wave. I screamed as loud as I could. It dropped down on all fours, again like a monkey. It scurried up the wall and stopped on the ceiling. My parents came running down the hall my room. As they passed under the shadow, it turned into a black haze and attached itself to my father this time. Mom ran to my bedside while Dad stood in the doorway. My speech was slowed by my crying, but with all my might, I didn't stop until I had described everything that just happened. Mom hugged me with those comforting mom words. It's okay, baby. Dad shook his head and told me I'll have nightmares throughout my whole life. They're not real. Learn how to deal with it. He turned and went downstairs. It seemed a little cold coming from him. Usually he has a very loving demeanor. Maybe he was just tired. Mom assured me everything would be okay. She dried my eyes and told me to get some sleep and remember it's not real. That night, as I lay sleepless, I heard a noise near my bedroom door. My room was dimly lit by a small nightlight. I tried to focus on the noise, but my eyes couldn't see past the darkness. I looked to the ceiling. There it was, the shadow. I repeated to myself, it's not real, it's not real. Then I thought, that's only if you're dreaming. Suddenly, it scurried down the wall, much like how it went up the wall earlier. I thought about Dad. Let's try that man-up thing. I think
think I can be brave. I know he always tells me to be. In a fake, confident voice, I ask the only thing that could make sense. Are you the Tooth Fairy? From the darkness, it said yes. I told it I had not lost a tooth yet. I began to smell the dead cat smell. I pulled my blanket up enough to try and filter the smell to my nose. Out of the darkness, the fairy appeared, just as I described him. He began walking around my room with that odd walk. His body really swayed from side to side. He moved slowly, just circling my room. I thought maybe he was waiting for one of my teeth. He probably knows when they are going to fall out. Suddenly, the door began to open. In the blink of an eye, the fairy became a shadow and frantically climbed the wall to the upper corner of my room. It stayed motionless as the door opened the rest of the way. It was my dad looking in on me. In his old cheerful voice, he said he couldn't believe I was still up and he thought he heard me talking to someone. He laughed and came to my bedside and gave me a big hug and a kiss on the head. That's my little buddy, he said. Then he told me to try to get some sleep. I told him I loved him and he hugged me even harder. I love you too. Good night, my son. He turned and gently closed my door. I stared at the shadow in the corner until I fell asleep. This became the new norm while I slept. I would awake at random times to find the tooth fairy walking in circles around my room. I would quietly say, nothing yet, maybe tomorrow. Then I would close my eyes and go back to sleep. Finally, after my many fruitless nights, one of my teeth began to loosen. I was so excited. Probably more for the fairy because I knew how patient he had been. I worked at it every chance I could. I may have even made it fall out quicker than it was supposed to. When it finally came out, I was uncontrollable. My mom and dad instructed me how to put it under my pillow so the tooth fairy would come. And don't forget, they said, if you are not sleeping, the fairy won't come. And I wasn't sure if that was true, since I would see him almost every night. Not willing to chance it, I ran extra laps in gym class to tire myself out. That night, I placed my tooth under my pillow and without trying, I fell right to sleep. The next morning, I immediately looked under my pillow. Sure enough, there was a dollar bill and one of my favorite candy bars. I knew that despite his odd appearance and his foul smell, my tooth fairy came through for me. However, from that day on, I have never seen or smelled him again. Tooth after tooth, I received the same surprise. One day at breakfast, I finally told my parents how I miss not seeing the tooth fairy anymore, and I hope he's not mad at me. My parents both had this look of confusion on their faces. My dad shook his head and told me it was time to tell me about the tooth fairy. After he explained his and mom's part in the game, I was more confused than ever. If that was them, then what was in my room night after night? The thought sent chills through my body. I asked if they were sure. Mom showed me my tooth and said we would go to the store and get me a cool toy with the tooth money I've collected. I lay in bed wondering if this will be the night he comes to visit. It is odd how my fear has turned to anticipation. What should I be afraid of? I think of him as an odd older brother, like other kids have. In my prayers, I have even asked to see him again. I hope he comes to see me soon. 
as I lay in my bed, my room feels empty. His circular pacing now seems comforting to me. Night after night, I lay in my bed, terrified of the evil that might hurt or kill me 